Good morning, everybody. Alex here from Snake on Star 6. Well, it's, it's technically still morning. It's not quite morning. Morgan's been looking after the shop this morning. I've had a lie-in. We had a couple of bevies last night, so we've had a bit of a lie-in. So uh, Morgan's been holding down the fort, doing a good job, though, as she always does. So, uh, But it's feeding day today. So we get to go around and feed all our lovely animals. Um, I believe first we're going to be feeding the piranhas, the puffers, and the wolf fish, and some of the other predatory fish. So uh, that's going to be our first job this morning. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Ring that lovely bell for me if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so Morgan's gone and uh, she's going to go check and see if her fish tank's ready to have some fish in it. So uh, she'll be back in a bit. But we are ready to feed some fishies. So we can do wolf fish first. I'm going to move some of the filters out of the way. Because I haven't done that job yet either. We've been slacking. So we're going to feed Wolfie. And then we're going to feed the puffers and the piranhas. Come on, Wolfie. Wolfie. Oh. Come on, Wolfie. He's been a bit of a wimp lately because we changed his filter. And he's been sulking. You've been sulking, haven't you, Wolfie? Look. Come on. Don't be a wimpy pants. Come on. Come on. It's a fishy. Come on. You're going to be... Oh, you've been sulking for like two or three days since we put the new filter in. Come on, it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, I'm going to leave it in here for you then. You big wimpy pants. All because we put a new filter in. Oh, well, Wolfie's still so, so soaking. Sulking. So uh, we'll move on to our puffers. So what we've been doing, we've been doing two fish in each for them because uh, the one is a little bit timid compared to the rest. So we make sure we try and get all them ones on one fish and we put one right by the cave so we can come out the cave and eat it on his own. So we'll see how we get on though. Grab ourselves a fish. Whoa, look at that. Straight for the eye every time. Try and lead them over here a little bit. Then we'll drop it down. Whoa. And then, oh, oh, the fourth one's come. He's been brave. Oh, fair play to him. I was going to put a nice little one next to him for him. I'll, do, I'll drop it down and they can all have a feed then, since they're all being good. Oh, they shooed him off. Go back down, buddy. Be brave. Go on, you can do it. He was being brave and they bullied him. Give me a fish. Give me a fish. No, you've got, you've got to share. And have one over here so you all can share. There we go. So you've got one over here so they can all spread about and then our little dude at the back gets to have a munch. Come on, buddy. We call him Nip Tail, because he's got a nipped tail. Very imaginative, aren't I? Come on, Nippy, get a bite. Come on, Nippy. Come on, dude, you can do it. Oh, he's spotted it. You see, look, this is what I've done, look. All on his own, he can have a little munch. Come on, but you can do it, mate, be brave. He's still too timid to do it even when he's on his own. He thinks they're going to come over and get him. Oh, poor little dude. He's still doing it though. I think he waits till they've eaten and they leave him alone. If I see any loss in condition or anything like that, I then might consider splitting and separating them up or uh, putting him on his own little tank. But at the moment, they're still holding their weights and stuff like that, so I can't see any problems. So we're going to try our piranhas now. As we all know, the piranhas are big, big wimps. Oh, what's... oh that was loud. So that's why we have a, a little bit of cork bark on the top to give them a shady area, so they feel that they're not as exposed. So drop in a fish. And because they've literally been 
to that up, right at the back behind the filter, you ain't gonna see them eat that, am you? So it's gonna take them a while to get brave enough, but eventually they'll come over and start having a nibble. We're already going for the one behind the filter. How shiny they are. Doing really well, really, really nice condition. They're growing so quick as well. We can make sure we give them plenty of food so nobody gets any accidental nips from each other. Which is working out well actually because we don't have many nips on them. Tails are looking good, bodies are looking good. When they came in they had a couple of nips, but uh, they've been doing great from now on. It's time to start defrosting all our food. So I'm gonna get some water. Nice cold water for the first little bit. I let them defrost in cold water, and then I get some nice warm water to warm them up. And then I have a cup of boiling hot water in. And I pick them up and I put them in there just before I give them to the snakes so they're really, really warm. So the snakes go boom and eat them straight away. So we have plenty of water. Come with me, sir. Oh, there we go. We got it, we got it. Let's go put some moises into the frost. Whoa. I believe we're ready. Food's all ready. We crack on. We've got the baby frogs first. So we do, we've got Mr. Green. Then we've got the big yellow. Sorry, big strawberry. Then we've got the big, big uh, albino. So we're, we'll get them ones down first. And we'll feed them and then we can move through the animals as we go. Hello, my little mate. Oh, he's off, he's off. So he did have a pink, his first pinky the other day. Are you hungry, mate? Oh, yes. Oh, he's let go. Changed your mind? Might be a little bit, let's see if I can find a smaller one. About this one, buddy. Oh, you ready? You hungry? He did have one the other day. He has been trying to attack it. You hungry, buddy? I think he's still a bit full from last week with his first pinky. Oh, he went for it. Make your mind up. Do you want it or not? Oh, okay. He wants it. There we go. We'll leave him to it. He's going to be absolutely massive tomorrow. We like nice big fat frog is. So now we're on to strawberry and Mr. Albina. Hello, my friend, you got moss on you. There we go. Look at your red eyes. Whoa. So we got him a fuzzy mouse. No, it's a hopper, sorry, he's got a hopper. Whoa, chompo. Whoa, ha, ha. Look at that, you can even see his teeth. Little spiky teeth. Whoa. Hello, Mr. Albino. Are you hungry today? Whoa, Chompy. You got it on the ear. You got it by the ear. You're going to re chomp. Re chomp? Oh, he's got it. That's better. Re chompied. There we go. You're my dirty frog. He loves having a rummage in the dirt, he does. Whoa, chomp. In here is our phantom royal python. Let's see if we can get the torch on. Torch. Woohoo. Can we see a bit better? What's this, darling? Is it cold, is it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna warm it up. 
Okay, so I forgot me hot water I did. So I've just re-got it. So we've just dipped the mouse in nice warm water. Wow, that, see, see the difference in that? You can actually see it once I've warmed it up. So uh, it just cooled off a tiny bit in the water. So there we go, lovely. Butter royal time, and she is raring to go. She's always, literally, she's been already searching for it already. What's this, darling? Wow. Lovely job, oh. Lovely strike, performing well. Very good, darling, very good. Now we're on to the Enchi. Hello, my lovely, are you hungry today? You're hungry. Cooey. Come on, my lovely, it's dinner time. Where's your head at? Oh, oh there it is. Hungry? No, we're going to drop feed here today. So we put that there, leave her to it, and uh, she'll eat it when she wants it. It's baby hog nose time, but you make the glass. What are you doing? Slow down for me. Look, your dinner. Got your dinner, look. I got your dinner. See? If you was down on the floor, I could feed you. But, ah, oh, you jumped on the floor. You okay? You know it's your dinner. I know you're a big scary snake, I know. Whoa. Okay, we'll put it down here for you then. We'll put it on there. Big scary snake. We know, mate, we know, big scary snake. There we goes. You chill out then and have your food in a bit. Onto the albino bull snake. If we look closely, she's actually got um, cloudy eyes because she's about to shed. Whoa, dinner time. Woodum. Yummy, yummy. Next, we're on to the granite spotted python. Hello? You're hungry. Ooh. Whoa. Lovely job. If we look up there, we can just see the head of the lizard that we want to feed. If I can get the glass open. He's usually in his bushes, but he's actually in the plant today. Let's see if we can get a bit of a closer look at him. Look, there he is. What's this? It's nice. Oh, there you go. Take it away. Good lad. Hi, mate. What are you doing up there? Woohoo. Come get it then. Wah, wah, wah. Lovely dinner time. Just about to see him. Just about. He's a good lad. Hello, my lovely. Yes, it's feeding time. Calm down. Calm down. Yes, we know you can smell moises. We know you can. We know you've got good smells. We know. We know. Calm down. Whoop. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. Behind you. There's a mouse. Okay, you on the mouse. <laughs> You're a silly lizard. Okay, now you've got to eat it on there. Start eating it. Okay, here you go. Because you're going to take it off over there. Eat it then, don't drag it everywhere. Eat it. Okay, now trick it down. Don't drag it in the sand. Big stones, it's okay, they'll just fall off. Because when she drags it in this fine sand, it's quite bad. You got it, darling. Start chucking it back and you'll get it down like you usually do. You got it. She's 
trying her best. It is bigger than what she usually has. But she had one last time and lapped it all up, so we're trying her on it again. Come on, you can do it, darling. That's it, chicken dead. You can do it. Don't go any further back, though. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. Come this way with it. Come forward. That's better. Get off the stand. I know, chuck it down. That's it, nearly. Nearly. You're not going back any further there, you've got to stay on the on the slab. Oh, nearly. You can do it, darling. Last little bit. Oh, yay. Oh, take a breath. Take a break. Last little bit. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Made yourself a little bit of a mess. But when does she not make a mess, eh? Yeah, I think we can leave you to it now, though, can't we? You got a nice full belly? Yeah, you got a nice full belly, have you? I know you got a nice full belly. You can't want any more food after that. It's impossible. You can't. So we're gonna leave you to it. We'll give you a clean out tomorrow. And we'll be raring to go. So I've just had to get the Enchi Lesser Blaze out. Um, it had a bit of stuck shed that was on his mouth and it, would, uh, and it was attaching his mouth together. So uh, I needed two hands and I couldn't film it. So uh, I quickly did that, but he's in the middle of shedding and stuff. So I'll be as surprised if he's gonna eat. Um, but that's where he's out and about. So I've literally just put him back in. But I'm gonna offer him a mouse um, and see how we get on. Hey buddy. Want to try a mouse? No, not today. We'll leave it there for him. And he can have it when he's hungry. I think what he'd done, he's had some of the shed come off his mouth. Uh, it moved up, got wet and stuck. And he stuck his mouth together. So uh, I got him out, held his head, pulled the shed off that had flipped up and over. And then he started to put his tongue out then. So I knew he was able to open it. No check, he can open his close his mouth. It's just that piece had come across and sealed his mouth. So uh, I did that first. Um, but after I've messed with him, I don't think he's going to feed. So uh, I have left it in there and offered it to him just because, or well, just in case he wants it. He is ready to go. Come on then. Whoa. How yum is that, mate? He's just shed. So he's still got his legs to do. He's still got a bit of his tail to do. But uh, he's actually really, really green. Look how lovely and green he is. Whoa, another one. Yummy, yummy. You're looking stunning, sir. Don't you go up there. That's it. Good boy. All the way. No. 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 Where are you going? You know where to go. There it is. All the way. Come on, get your tail in. Looks like he's got a pair of trousers on there. <laughs> you can see he's all shedding. Why he doesn't like me doing that? Leave my bum alone, he says. Black spiny tailed iguana time. So I believe he's having his siesta. So he's going to be underneath his log. You hungry, buddy? Whoa, come and get it then. Whoa, yes. Yummy, yummy mouse. Whoa, you got to wake up for a mouse, ain't you, mate? It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, time. With a really big copy python feed. So I've got him a lovely big mouse, rat, sorry. So what we're gonna be doing, this is probably gonna be one of his last feeds weekly. Um, once we've got him up to an optimum weight, um, then we're gonna be release, reducing it down to an adult carpet python's feeding schedule, which is about every two weeks. Come on then, where's your head at? 
Oh, I see it, Ed. Okay, okay, calm down. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, hey. Good bad. You want to warm it up again? Come on. So it has cooled off a tiny bit, so I might need a little bit more. Come on. Bite it. I think I'm going to have to get some boil, some warm, to see if it makes a difference. Whoa, yes it does. Whoa. That's what she wanted. Nice, warm mouse rat. It's a good girl. It's wiggling, darling. You've got to keep going. It's wiggling. It's going to get away. You've got to get tighter. It's wiggling. Oh, there we go. You got it, darling. You got it. You're doing a good job. Fine, if you wiggle it just that little bit, it brings in their natural instincts and make, gives them a good chance on eating it. Okay then everybody, that's all the time I've got for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, which is up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to support me, the animals and the rescues, there's a link in the description below or you can just click join. And if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.